I brought you some company. <laughs> so long, buddy. <laughs> Hello again ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Serenity Soul on the Axe. We are back with Throwback Thursday, Friday the 13th for series episode 3 season 1. Now I do want to point out that there is no Jason Voorhees here. They did want to incorporate the mask but they decided to let the show stand out on its own. Same kind of universe as Friday the 13th films but a completely different setting. So they put it all about cursed goods. So if you're looking for Jason Voorhees, he is not here. <laughs> so I want to keep this intro short. So I want to ask if you do enjoy my videos, could you please give me a like, comment and subscribe on YouTube. I'm trying to find more content I can get to you. But unfortunately with YouTube being YouTube, some things do get blocked and some things are getting blocked from Daily Motion as well. So my Patreon has those exclusives for that. To my Patreon members, I thank you ever so much for being here, for joining my uh, page, and for helping support the channel. I really do appreciate it, and I really mean that. So without further ado, let's get straight into the show. And here we are. So uh, actually, while the intro is going, let me just say, the shows I can't get on YouTube so um, and Daily Motion, so their Patreon exclusive is Murder She Wrote, You Me and the Apocalypse, Af Afterlife is on Daily Motion, but that is going to be a huge uh, Patreon exclusive. And there's quite a few others that I can't get on as well, so I don't want to leave this too long, but I'll say it now so I'm not making the intro even longer. So now I'll shut up about Patreon and everything, and we'll focus on the show. Just want to point out, this is in the Action Channel, Cupid's Quiver. So I do have to talk to transform the content. Taking it to a bow then. This is 80s, and there's only so much I can do. As you can see, the black bars. I couldn't extend them any further. They were closer together at one point. Why do people do that? That is disgusting. So he can make people fall in love with him? I'm guessing it's him. Care to dance? She's with no, somebody. Thank you. Come on, one little dance isn't gonna hurt you. You like dancing. Excuse me, I don't seem to remember hearing myself talking. It doesn't seem to matter who you talk to, pal. You don't seem to listen to them anyway. Come on. Just one little dance. Look, I don't know who you are or what you want, but I said I don't want to dance. Now let me amend that. It's not that I don't want to dance. I don't want to dance with you. Do you want to dance? Love to. Yeah, it's him who's going to have it. I'm gonna see him, see him, see him shoot an arrow though. <laughs> no one's questioning what's in that sack. Oh, he doesn't need to fire that. 
it just points it. Nobody saw it moving. So it, they slowed it down there. That wasn't my software making it jerky. Mind if I cut in? Hey, fella, you just don't know how to take no for an answer. No, leave him alone. Sure, I'd love to. God, I wish I had one of those when I was younger. Is there any <laughs> chance we could find a hotel room around here? Well, the honeymoon suite do. Be fine. Just fine. So how long does it last for? Does it last eternally or do they die from it? I mean it is Friday the 13th, so they could die. What I'm going to try to do is get rid of these black bars and put a little overlay behind them. So it don't look as as jarring. Excuse me, I'm on YouTube. Can you please um, quieten it down a little bit? <laughs> YouTube, this is not gratifying. It's a horror show. It's not going to show you anything. Hope. I'm going to shoot it again. No, 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 this it's not doing what you think it's doing, YouTube. I promise you. See? Told ya. See, I didn't like the bones. <laughs> this is crazy. I've never experienced anything like this before. What happens if it shoots him? Will it turn into a narcissist? I think I love you. Excuse me, you've only just met him. Stop. Stop. Ah! Oh, now he stole it. Did he have his hands around her neck? I never saw that. Oh my god. I thought he killed Stop him with jiggling. his. Um, Just getting to the good part. His, his winky. Jack, <laughs> what do you remember about that Cupid in Uncle Lewis's manifest? Uh, I found the it. Cupid of Malek. Yes, I remember picking that up in Cairo. That was commissioned by one Salam Malek in 1453. Did the young uncle not in, uh, pick anything Milan, up? Did he do exactly. it all? Yeah, it, it was said that Malek was so ugly that no woman could look at him without turning away. That got him pretty upset. So he uh, vowed vengeance on all those who denied him love. In he had the Cupid cast in his own image. <laughs> Why don't you try reading something a little more challenging for a change? Something with words. The man arrested for the brutal honeymoon sweet slayings, Gerald Hastings, said he had to kill for Cupid's sake. You don't think there's any... Item um... number 00729. You know, Cupid maybe kill them after the act. It says here that Uncle Lewis sold it to a Frederick Mason, but... I know, it's still not consensual. <laughs> No, it's not right, Please. no. Don't be doing it at all. Ah. It seems Mr. Mason didn't like women either. He killed three of them. Was sentenced to death. Well. There's something buzzed. <laughs> what do you think? There's an old witch's saying. If it looks like a bat, and it flies like a bat. It's a bat? It's a bat. Yay! Oh, no! Yay! <laughs> I can't 
understand it. I know I saw the statue when we barged in. So it was here? Yep. Ugly little thing, too. I know because I said to myself, it was too tacky even for a motel. <laughs> Could the cops have taken it? I thought you were the cops. Another division. You were saying? Now that I think of it, it was gone already. Of course, there was so much commotion. Thank God for those college guys. College guys? Yeah, from Tustin. They're on the bar having a couple of beers. When I heard the noise, I tried opening the door, but it was double locked. You know, the worst thing it can go, the worst Mr. place it can go to is a college. These guys are knocking the door down. That's it. I remember now. One of them picked up this statue. Do you have any idea who was? Why didn't you stop him? No, not by name. But they all belong to the same fraternity. How do you know? Well, they all wear the same kind of T-shirt, you know, with these funny letters. Can you remember what they were? Nah. Who can read that stuff? It's all Greek to me. She's going to get shot, isn't she? Must fancy themselves as lover boys or something, though. Why do you say that? Because they all have this symbol on the front of their T-shirts. A heart with an arrow going through it. Bigger than my lens. Mind you, everyone's got a lens bigger than me. You know, that is creepy, my man. That is creepy. Am I telling me what you're doing up there, son? You tell him. Just shooting pictures of birds, officer. You should have natural studies class. Well, I always did like natural studies myself. <laughs> you might have just saved your own life. I still forgot to look what mating this is. I've been calling you. Hi, Eddie. Listen, I can't talk now. I'm late for class. What's the matter? Didn't you get my messages? I thought we could go out again. Eddie, we never went out in the first place. I thought we did. We had a date, remember? It wasn't a date. I helped you with your homework. That was all. I see. You I think need... you're too good for me. Huh? I'm an even worse oh, person to, to land on. Leave me alone, okay? I'm not one of the guys on the football team. My car's not fancy enough. Is that it? Huh? I don't want to talk about it. Please. Eddie, don't wake me up to call for help. If I report you this time, you'll be kicked out of school for good. Excuse me, could either of you help us? Sure. What is it? There must be a dozen fraternities around here. Fifteen to be exact, but only about two or three good ones. We were looking for the one that has as its symbol the heart with the arrow going through it. That's Delta Lambda Chi. Are you a member? Yeah. Oh, then you can tell us how to get there. I, I could do better than that. I could show you where it is. I'm going that way myself. So am I. You care for a ride? How did he get in part it's of that really fraternity? It's really not that far. If it's one of the popular ones. No, thanks. I think we'll walk. Or is it one of the unpopular ones, and that's why I needed it? Sorry if you interrupted anything. You I'm did. glad you did. Does he even know how to use it? I mean, all you have to do is point. <laughs> what does he know? And are they homing anos? Because he might... Someone might just miss it, it might hit somebody else. Can I oh. come, Eddie? This party is not for you. Just because I'm nice enough to let you wear Delta Lemna Kai t-shirts does I not see. mean you're one of us. Now, you'll have to excuse me. i got a million things to do. And don't forget to clean up the kitchen. You know, the way fraternities act, I'd rather be the unpopular one. I wouldn't join one. I'd be a loner.
What are you doing? Dustin. Oh, he took it. This is really nice. Ugliest mother in the world. Can't figure out how it helps you out with chicks, though. Is that what it's supposed to do? It's a cupid, stupid. Oh. Now clean up my room, will you? And leave my stuff alone. So I suppose it'll only react to those who cannot get so chicks. What? What makes you think they're just going to hand it over anyway? Because everyone does it just work on women though? Could a, a so woman get it, it and We're use it on a man? That's your big plan. Hey, it worked last time, didn't it? Academia had its advantages. So you dropped out of college. Just a school party. Party's not till tonight, folks. You know, even I still be out. Some people will lose around here. Is it all like this? No, we haven't had a chance to clean up the rest of the place yet. You are invited to be here tonight. May I help you? Oh, we're looking for a statue. A statue? What kind of statue? Cupid. Oh, well, that would be perfect for us. <laughs> Look, we're here on official business. We have reason to believe that one of your brothers took it from the scene of a crime. Hold on a minute. Oh. We're gonna look around. Talk to some of the guys. Do you have a warrant? ID? Not really. Look, pal. Um, we're not cops. Uh, we need to find the Cupid. It's a personal matter. Can't help you. The brothers wouldn't be too thrilled if I let two strangers wander through their rooms. Surely you understand. Well, can't you go looking for the Cupid? You understand? Excuse me. He stole it. Yeah? What can I do for you? Your turn to clean up, huh? Something wrong with that? No, no, I do it all the time. Well, some of the time. We were just wondering if maybe you came across a statue in one of the rooms. Maybe I'll put my Snickers packet in the bed. Cupid. 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 Nope. Can't say I did. I like the big guy myself, but what? I think the second guy's more your type. Brian, I'm engaged. Not tonight. Yes, they are cousins by manage, not blood cousins. So I suppose that works out okay. Is Freddy Krueger coming? I can imagine if Freddy had a cameo. Yes, I'm sorry about the jerkiness of the cam. <laughs> That's how it was shot. I can't do anything about that. I'm sure it would have been less frames per second in the 80s. So still shots would be fine like this, but movement shots might have been a bit jerkier. Originally gonna go for her, but fall in love with Mickey and then go for Mickey. How does that Cupid know exactly who to shoot? Even if we do find out who took the statue, how are we gonna make him tell us what he did with it? No, well, they're not gonna just tell us. I mean, it's a criminal offense to remove evidence from the scene of a crime. 
then we'll just have to search the place. Now, wait a minute. I think there may be a better way of doing it than that. And I think I have just what you need. Just put half a bottle of vodka in there. No, 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 no. What is that? I'm going to say that I've invited it. Recipe I had lying around. How old? 14th century Scottish. Look, you want them to tell you where the Cupid is, huh? Well, this is going to do it. It's an old Scottish truth potion. They'll tell you things you wouldn't believe. What's in it? I have new two or three, and just a tincture of apothecary's conkis plecorium. The police might be interested in that case. How is it like truth serum? God, he's such a creep, isn't he? Incel! Eddie, why did you come here? Didn't we speak about this this afternoon? I know, I just thought... Eddie, please, don't make me have to have you forcibly evicted. He's not even in the, <laughs> the dorm yet. It's going to scale the wall, isn't it? It's going to climb up. I did nick the Cupid already. I don't know, I've got a terrible memory. As my Patreon members know, things could happen and then, like, ten minutes ago, and it's just gone poof. It's only my short term memory, though. Yeah, Intel's really need to look at the personality. You know, you could be extremely good looking, but if your personality is giving off a vibe, no, not you're yet. gonna get somebody. Meet Slide, huh? I mean, I know Rodney Alcala wasn't an Intel, but he was good looking, but his personality. Gave up so much of a vibe on the dating game, so they just got on a date with him. Why is that special? Well, thank you. Uh, let me ask you something. You strike me as the kind of man who's alert and aware of everything that's going on around him that's of any importance. Uh, have you seen a statue of a Cupid anywhere in any of the rooms in this place? Cupid? You, you know, where... Oh, oh ugly mother. Who that high? You've seen it. More than seen it. Got it. Not anymore, you haven't. So if everyone's drinking this truth serum, bloody hell. It's gone. Gonna be a lot of arguments sure the next day. You put it? I lie to you. Somebody must have taken it. But who? Any Monroe. Who? The guy who cleans up. Pretty strange guy. Yeah, him. Came by my room and I caught him holding it. Looking at it pretty strange. I bet he's got it. I bet that guy took it. When I get a hold it's of that too guy. too bad you've got to stay and look after your guests. I um, do? Why don't you let us try to find out where he is for you? Where did you say he lived again? Hayes Hall, in the basement. Not there, though. What's that? It's a Cupid. Well, it's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. <sighs> Ugly or not, it's still a symbol of love. Yeah, I thought Cupid was supposed to be a little cherub. I know it was modelled over Excuse after me, the maker. Miss. Got a light? No. So is it keywords? Got to give it keywords. Wait a minute, maybe I do. <laughs> it's all right. I don't smoke. Keywords. Gotta go for a ride. Where to? Oh, I don't know. 
Up about Mason Creek sounds nice. That guy who was with him must have been so confused. I know the perfect spot. Out of the way. Lots of beautiful flowers. Sweet smelling. Oh, that's good, because uh, I love flowers. I'm going to say, did you pick up your Cupid? And then I just saw it hovering in the bottom. I can't believe anyone lives like this. Dracula lives like this? I mean someone real. Are you suggesting Dracula isn't real? You know, with Careful. these cursed like objects... Cheap burglar alarm. These cursed objects, you'd have thought should have been a bit well, more of a believer what anyone would want to steal down in here. things. How about the statue of a Cupid? Right. You got a point there. Because I bet she didn't believe in curses before she started... Get, well, before she got that store. I will check the ratings of these shows after this episode, and then I'll report back in the next episode to tell you what they are. Oh, so he gets in the heads of the people who owns it to kill them. Oh, she's still there. I'm sorry I was mean to you before. Hey. You just didn't know how terrific I was. <laughs> now I do. I love you. It sort of defeats the point of Cupid when it's supposed to be for love. But then you kill them as soon as they say I love you. What's that? Honey. <laughs> I love honey. Gives you energy. You want some? <laughs> Something tells me it's not honey. Boys room. I'll be right back. Be sure to lock the doors now. You wouldn't want the boogeyman to get you. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Scare me? I wonder if she knows about these. They make a cute couple, don't they? She's gonna get mauled by a bat? he has got a serious problem. Not as serious as hers. Can you break the curse? Is it Jason Voorhees? No, it's not. No, it's not. I don't want to get your hopes up. So on Wikipedia, they didn't want Jason Voorhees as a part of this, they wanted to make it as it's so. <laughs> they could have done it though. Oh, it's back. I missed you. I brought you some company. <laughs> so long, <honey. laughs> Something else, she ate honey. They didn't smear it all over her. <laughs> Can't you kick the window out, love? The bloody wind! Oh, you can't now, can you? Mm. 
Even though it was the 80s, I'm sure the windows would have gone through like that. I didn't want to go to law school, but my father made me after his third divorce. He said he wasn't going to keep paying that kind of money to someone outside the family. He's a jerk. Jack! Jack! I come here! I wish I knew it was like to sleep with a woman like that instead of just talking about it. <laughs> we got more to find than just a statue. We've got one sick guy. More than that, he's dangerous. This? Who is this? Eddie. Eddie Monroe. And the girl's name is Laurie Warren. Does she know? Well, I'll tell you what. I'll go and look I for him while you two shoot look Mickey. for her. Have either of you seen Laurie Warren? Excuse me, have either of you seen Eddie Monroe tonight? No, not since Harold kicked him out. Uh, any idea where he went? Oh, well, maybe down to the motel bar if he couldn't get a drink here. Give me a break, man. Shouldn't you be manning the bar? I'm paying you by the hour. I'll deduct the time. What? Hey, hey. Sorry about that. Yeah, I remember seeing him earlier. Huh. You're the second guy looking for him tonight. Real popular guy all around. Oh, what do you mean? Well, he left with this woman, kind of attractive. Don't know how he did it, though. He was a real dork. Must have some line. Or a very small arrow. Uh, did you happen to see which way they were headed? Looked like to bed. She was all over him. I did overhear him say something about taking a ride to Mason Creek. Good man. So what all the bees still do there? I'm guessing the bees. Have you seen Jack? Yeah, he took off. You can tell him I'm going to dock his way. No. Why don't you ditch that guy? Let me show you how I'd have a good time. They always end up running away. <laughs> I thought people in the highest fraternities were supposed to be popular. He doesn't seem that popular to me. How did she get out the van? Bowser, it's me! Pops, I thought you were ready. I was gonna stomp his face for hot bringing my statue. You better call the police. I have another bottle of Chardonnay. But it's back in the frat house. Oh, I'm not going back to that zoo. I'll wait here for you. Keep my seat warm. Her turn. Well, 12 minutes left, so could do. Could succeed, I mean. Nice night. You scared me. Sorry. Mind if I sit down? Yes, I do. I'm with someone. Oh, I see. That's too bad. Just go away, Eddie. Please. I brought you something. It's a token of my affection for you. Oh, this is progress. Can't find Lori or Eddie, and now we lost Jen. Where would somebody go to be alone with their boyfriend? That's Eddie. He's got Lori. <laughs> So I'm guessing she's been shot then. Stay here. Look after her. Not been shot. Must have been shot, otherwise she wouldn't have gone with him. Oh, 
Oh, come on, follow the scratch marks. <laughs> Mind the game. Please, you've got to come with us. So he's taking a few pictures of me, so what? He's obsessed with you, he's he dangerous. Hit his Eddie, you wouldn't harm a fly. I've got it, let's get out of here. Where's Eddie? I'm not going anywhere until you explain to me what's going on. I'll tell you all about it after we get out of here. We can't wait. Come on, Lori, let's go. It's serious, Let Lori. me go. Thank goodness you found that. We found everything. Jack, you look like you've seen a ghost. It was worse than that. Just up at Mason's Creek, we found the body of a girl. For a bit, I thought it was you. I don't what know. What Mason's Creek? The That's where Eddie was seen last. You see? You've got to come with us just until we're sure. All right. Everything all right here? Yes, 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 What's that? Uh, nothing. It's just a memento. Well, the boys over at the Delta Lambda Guy House said something just like that had been stolen. Yeah, oh, come on now. It must have been something looked like that. No, they described something like this exactly. Ugly little face, bow and arrows. I'm afraid I'm going to have to take this from you until I can... Oh, no, my officer. That. Someone took it from us. It was ours to begin with. Uh, look, officer, it's a, a very long and complicated story. I'm sure it is, and I wish I had time to hear it. No, 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 wait a minute. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to take it down to security until I can check it out. If you're telling the truth, you can pick it up in the morning. If not, just be glad I'm a nice guy and letting you get off without any questions. Well, they had it for all of a minute. <laughs> we'll pick it up first thing tomorrow morning. Officer. Gonna kill him? Well, well, well. Doing any more bird watching lately? Of course. I need the extra credit. Looks like you found our missing Cupid. This does belong to you, boys. It sure does. We bought it at the swap meet. You idiot. You absolute I can't tell you how much pillar. I appreciate you finding this. Forget it. It's all part of my job. Stay out of trouble, okay? It's a promise. I don't know what the ups, what the hell's up with my eye. Is this where you live? It's not much, but it's home. You'll stay upstairs with me. Doesn't this place give you the creeps? You get used to it. It's a long story. Sometime you're going to have to explain to me what's going on. I will. I promise. But trust me, you won't believe it. Well, I think I'll turn in. It's been a long day. Yeah, it has been. See you in the morning. Good night. I really think we should call the cops on Eddie. Oh, not until we recover the statue. Supposing he confesses and implicates him. Now, that's just what happened with the Cupid's last owner. And then they'd have to hold it for evidence. Jack's right. Then we'll be back at school one. How is she? Seems all right. She got shot, though. She might just go out to him. get to a phone until now. I was worried. I didn't know what happened to you. I had to go with him. Phone it's down there. Why don't you come over? No, but it's almost morning already. So? <laughs> we can still spend the rest of the night together. All right. Did you get back to Cupid? Yeah. I'm so glad. See you soon. I love you. Yeah, you might want to pop that zip, mate. They'll be following her.
so long for this. Tonight, it'll be just the three of us. Well, do you think the other will wear that off over time? Oh. You? <laughs> Sorry. We overheard your little phone call with Lori. Where is she? Get at her. I'll give him the cupid. Looks like it's gonna shoot her. You tricked me. Vicky, let me in. No, oh, no! I can't! Hit this him with a chair. This is for me and Laurie. Why? So you could kill her. I don't want to. I have to. It might as well be you. Just like that other girl tonight. She made fun of me. No more. She finally said she loved me. They all will. Even you. Vicky! Vicky! You alright? I'm fine! I'm guessing the door was already open then. Yeah, you don't stand still when someone's got a few things. Hear that? Now why don't you be a good fella and just run along and let the little lady and I have some fun? You leave her alone. What are you gonna do about it? Eddie. Send the tie the other woman up. You want it? Come and get it! Yes, Johnny! That's a very stupid thing to do. <laughs> He's gonna fall to his death. Okay then. Okay. <laughs> yeah, knew it. Now does that break the curse on Mickey? story. Welcome to the world of love. So we're going to get married. She knows the world of love. It's amazing what some people will do for it. I spent seven years being lonely and I never committed murder. Not nice, but <laughs> I didn't go that far. Didn't even contemplate it. That's it, Jack. You might want to lock it Another away securely. Trophy. Never forget that we're dealing with forces which no one comprehends, my young friend. Don't take them lightly. Well, I hope that that disgusting little statue never sees the light of day again. <laughs> yes, don't even think about it. Now it's back in the vault. I have to make very good and sure that it's never unleashed again. All these bedeviled things, if they fall into the wrong hands, we'll have to do it all over. And remember that next time, we may fail. I really owe you an apology. You don't owe us anything. Is that like you didn't know what you were doing. protection like thing? Most people in love. I got this really terrific idea. Why don't you and I go grab some sushi, catch a flag, and maybe you have to watch some waves come in on the beach? Oh, Ryan, I'd love to, but I'm having somebody pick me up. Ready? Yeah. Maybe some other time. Yeah. Bye. Oh, come on, he's not that bad looking. <laughs> maybe if I just touched her with the arrow. Ryan. I'm just looking for a little edge, all right? What's life without a dream? You want to go out to dinner? Dream on. 
As I keep saying, they are not blood related, they are cousins by marriage according to Wikipedia. So there is nothing wrong with it I suppose. <laughs> nothing that can be judged. But that's the end of the third episode. 69 more to go. I'd make of that number what you will. That's up to you. <laughs> As always, like I do for my Patreon members, I'll leave the credits running. Now just for those that like it, and to give credit to the actual people as well. And we shall go to the sign out. So it was a, another good episode in my opinion. I don't know what you thought. Let me know in the comments whether you like that episode or not. I'm guessing once the person who shot them, who got them shot with the arrow died, the curse broken. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Because not one of them was under the like influence of it anymore. And would Ryan ever be tempted to use any of those items for his own good? I mean, it must be tempting when you see these cursed goods, but you've got to keep it in your head. It's the devil's work. <laughs> you are basically making a pact with the devil with every one of these things you use. So yes, we've got 69 more episodes to go. I'm leaving the end credits running, as I said, to give credit to everyone who made the show. I claim no ownership or authority over the show itself, just the transformative work that I do. I do have to talk through the shows. They are the actions. I, that's what makes it transformative but with that if you are on youtube and watching this could you please like comment and subscribe i would greatly appreciate it share the channel if you can you'd have to be a patreon member to help the channel by sharing by word of mouth social media shout outs you would be doing a great service to the channel just to get me noticed and to my patreon members i thank you ever so much from the bottom of my heart you are the people that are making this sh this channel. You are the ones supporting me. You are you are funding me. You are getting all the shows early access. These shows will be getting put in the drop box fo drop box folders for you. You'll get all these shows ad free. I thank each and every one of you for watching. I mean, hope you're enjoying this or my other videos. So with that, I thank you ever so much. See you in the next one. Goodbye.